Hello all. So in this lecture, we are going to see what is padding and why we use padding. So for that, let me give you an example. So here we have created a structure named padding. In this structure, we have created three structure members that are age, salary and ID. Right? And they are of integer, double and short in type. And this int will take 4 bytes of memory. This double will take 8 bytes of memory. And this short int will take 2 bytes of memory. Now let me ask you a question. Let's say I create a variable of this data type that is padding. Then how much memory will be allocated to this variable? You might be thinking it should be 4 plus 8 plus 2 that is 14. But my dear student, this is not the case. Due to the padding, the space occupied in the memory by this variable differs. Now let's see how much memory with this variable will take. So first four bytes are reserved by this age variable that is structure member. Right? And left four bytes are used for padding. So these are used for padding. We will see why it is used for padding later. But first, let's calculate how much memory it will take. After that, double salary will take 8 bytes of memory. This is simple. This wall will take 8 bytes of memory. Right? After that, we know this short int will take 2 bytes of memory. So it will take 2 bytes of memory and 6 bytes for padding. So total it will take 8 bytes. So the total memory occupied by this V variable would be 8 plus 8 plus 8 that is 24. Now you might be thinking that why this much space is reserved for padding. For that we need to understand a concept that is our operating system is of two types. 32 bits and 64 bits. 32 bits means when divided by 8 will give 4 bytes. Right? So when our operating system is of 32 bit then it will take 4 bytes for each operation. Means it will read 4 4 bytes one by one at a time. So here we are using 64 bit operating system. According to the 64-bit operating system, the operating system will read 8, 8 bytes in a chunk. So when it gets the 4 byte, then the remaining 4 bytes are added as padding. So this is why padding is done so that our operating system can easily or can smoothly read or write data from the memory. Right? After that, in salary, the salary is of 8 bytes. So it will read this chunk in a one go. But after that, this short int will take 2 bytes. So the remaining 6 bytes will be added as padding again. So the total padding done is 10 bytes. Right? Now many of you might be thinking that this is a wastage of lots of memory. That is why class and objects are used in real life software development because in real life software development memory is a very critical part we need to save memory right so i hope you got the concept that what is padding and why we use padding but there is one more concept here that is a programmer can handle and can reduce the memory occupied so how can we reduce that for that, we need to write our structure member in such a way that the operating system can read 8, 8 bytes one by one without wasting the memory for padding. So here it is the example that you can see first 8 bytes are directly consumed in a single go by the operating system. After that, there is int age that will take 4 bytes. So this 4 bytes are taken by this age, right? Now after that this id will take 2 bytes and the left 2 bytes are added as padding. So you can see that here only 16 bytes are reserved in memory by the variable of this padding data type, right? So we have saved 8 bytes, right? 
So what is the takeaway of this lecture? The takeaway is pretty simple that padding is nothing but adding some extra bit so that the operating system can work smoothly, right? So I hope this concept of what and why of padding is clear to you. Excellent.